business is over, will they be looked after? I don't know. You don't know. Like just the one guy wearing underwear, rest stark naked. There was a guy wearing undies. There's one guy wearing undies. I was looking at every single that one bite. Howdy, folks! Welcome on back to you, me, and the TV. And it's time to get radioactive again. Oh boy! Head on back to Chernobyl and see if they can put out the fire. God, I hope so. I mean, I think they do, but... What happened last episode? Where did we leave off? Uh, We left off with three heroes going down into the pits of the plant and trying to pump water out of it so that the lava didn't hit the water and turn into a freaking atom bomb or whatever it was. Yeah. Did they, do you think they'll ever be seen again or able to get their job done? They they will die, but they'll get the job done. You think they'll get the job done? I mean, (laughs) they have to, otherwise like 60 million people die or something. keep sending more people in. Right. Well, I guess I could More volunteers. Well, should we jump in and get our radioactive suits on and figure out what's next? Yeah. Let's do it. Go first, like, comment, subscribe. Come hang out with us. We're watching Chernobyl. Yeah, check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down below. Check it out. we got Twitter and Instagram. If you're interested in the social meds, check us out at You Me The Movies. Yep. On Twitter and Instagram. Check it out. Let's watch Chernobyl. enters these tanks it will instantly superheat causing a significant thermal explosion oh, thermal explosion excuse me not an atom bomb whatever <laughs> i mean how amazing if they could get that done in the pitch black Our hands are going to get a workout. Hand crank flashlights. Good on them for having a backup, though. Where are they supposed to drain all that water into? Don't know. Is it possible that the water has already killed them? Yes. Then what? It doesn't work. Yeah, exactly. There are no other options. It has to work. I don't even know why they bring the little meters. It's like, I know, like, it's like clearly you, it's you radioactive. Already know you're, it's already radioactive, right? For dramatic effect. Hopefully they spun the right wheel. Natenko, he's a firefighter from Chernobyl. I have permission. Chernobyl? I'm sorry, no visitors. But Major Major Borov told me, he said... No exceptions. Please. No visitors. You can see him for 30 minutes. Not a minute more. And you cannot touch him in any way. Do you understand? He's radioactive. You're not pregnant, are you? No. Sure. There's no hiding from you, is there? Eh? Don't touch him. It's easy. Oh, and there you go. Is she radioactive now? Yep. You'd hug me. Not if you were radioactive, I wouldn't. Really? No. Not trying to go out that way. I'd hug you. I'm just kidding. (laughs) I love you. Oh, how did this happen? Who gave them the idea? You're suggesting I did? Someone did. Someone decided that the evacuation zone should be 30 kilometers, when we know here, cesium-137 in the Gomel district, that's 200 kilometers away. It was decided. Based on what? You evacuated them to a place where they're just as radioactive as perfect. But the temperature is rising. And 
there. There's a spike in zirconium-95. It's from the cladding on the fuel rods. Meaning what? The meltdown has begun. Well, the smoke's going down, though. So, out of the pot into the frying pan, kind of thing. I don't know. You can't be in here. What's happening to him? Get out of here. You can't be in here. <laughs> Because she hugged him? Yeah, she did that. I think so. Oh. <laughs> it estimates a 50% chance that the fuel will breach the pad and melt down into the groundwater itself. Yeah. And where does this groundwater go? The Pripyat River. The primary water supply for approximately 50 million people, not to mention crops and livestock, would be... Great. All of the liquid nitrogen in the Soviet Union. All of it. I don't want questions. I want to know when this will be over. If you mean when will Chernobyl be completely safe, the half-life of plutonium-239 is 24,000 years, so perhaps we should just say not within our lifetimes. <laughs> He's like, I give zero <laughs> at this point what you think. <laughs> I'm going to be dead in less than five years, so. What does the radiation do to them, precisely? Ionizing radiation tears the cellular structure apart. The immediate effects subside. The patient appears to be recovering. And the cellular damage begins to manifest. The arteries and veins spill open like sieves, to the point where you can't even administer morphine for the pain, which is unimaginable. Within three days to three weeks, you're dead. Hell of a way to go. I've seen them before. They're spies. They've been here the whole time. Of course they've been here the whole time. But if we're seeing them out in the open now, it's because they want us to know. KGB. Ooh. Yikes. Or American spies as KGB right. spies. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to know. Yeah. I've worked the numbers over and over. Resuming the worst possible conditions in an RBMK reactor. And I always get the same answer. Which is? It's not possible. And yet. So they were doing some really f***ed experiments, huh? Go now while they're still alive. Talk to them. Because if we don't find out how this happened, it will happen again. Be careful. Is KGB following her too? Hopefully not yet. What's as big as a house? Burns 20 liters of fuel every hour. Puts out a load of smoke and noise. And cuts an apple into three pieces. Your wife. The Soviet machine made to cut apples into four pieces! Oh. <laughs> Thought it was like a your mama joke. Oh. It wasn't. Uh, no. It was a Soviet joke. I need all 100 men to gather their equipment and get on the trucks. To where? That's classified. Come on, then. Start shooting. You haven't got enough bullets for all of us. Kill as many as you can. Whoever's left, they'll beat the living piss out of each of you. You can't talk to us like that. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> the reactor fuel is going to sink into the ground and poison the water from Kiev to the Black Sea. All of it. They want you to stop that from happening. How are we supposed to do that? A giant filter? Coal filter? They don't make liquid nitrogen, do they? And there's one thing I know, though. You're not supposed to mess with coal miners, no matter what country they're from. Yeah, badasses. Yeah, they're tough dudes. <laughs> <laughs> they're all going to pat him on the back. <laughs> We're in that beautiful suit. <laughs> That's their all right, but f you too. <laughs> Now you look like the Minister of Coal. That has got to be like a rite of passage, right? Yeah, I think he was in that day period where it looked like he was... Oh, he might better. be alright. Oh, boy. I told you not to touch him. It's not safe. Don't they touch you? It's safe for them, it's safe for me. Oh, 
It's stylish. It's like a weekend at Bernie's. I can see the red square. And the Kremlin, Spaskia Tower, Mausoleum. I told you. I told you I'd show you Moscow, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yes. Oh, she made it. Is she undercover or she actually got permission to be there? I'm guessing undercover. Here come the coal miners. Of course. the whole pack and put it in his pocket. <laughs> we need to install a liquid nitrogen heat exchanger underneath this concrete pad. Oh. You gotta dig under it. And what's above the pad? The core of the nuclear reactor, which is melting down. You can't use any heavy machinery. It has to be done by hand. We're gonna need more men. How deep do you want this tunnel? Six meters? Twelve. Twelve? Why? For your protection. The entrance to the tunnel won't be 12 meters below ground. No. I'm not 12 meters below ground, no. <laughs> Touche. No. We're not. So six is probably good then. <laughs> if these worked, you'd be wearing them. Yeah. Too much common sense. They're all like that. Yeah, no bullshit, right? Yeah. Tell me what you need. Don't I be mean, an idiot about it. they're all coal miners, so they're like, we're probably getting the black gun lung eventually, so. What's a little radiation sickness on top of it, huh? All right. Just digging freaking tunnels. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Oh, hats off to all the miners out there. Holy crap. Obviously, they're probably not doing it with shovels much anymore, but either way, good golly. We need fans. For what purpose? What do you mean for what purpose? To dig your f tunnel, that's why. Who's talking to you? Oh, comrades. <laughs> fans will put dust in the air. The dust will go in your lungs. I've been breathing dust in my lungs for 20 years. Yeah, I was going to say, uh... I'm sorry for your own good. No fans. Yeah, like they aren't already getting dust in their lungs. Yeah. What do you think they're breathing when it is the air is just dust with or without fans? Oh boy. Senior engineer. How old are you? I'm 25. He's looking rough. Yeah. I don't want him to die alone. Stay on the other side of the plastic. We will have you removed by security. Got any of those lead blankets they have at the dentist, too, you can give her? Might help a little bit. Yeah. Mm, yep. Okay. Rule breaker. Gonna have a baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. The miners are making incredible progress. They say the whole job will be finished in four weeks. Four weeks. I believe that. Got him down. It is the miners. <laughs> Pokemon back. You mean the PP? It's too hot for clothes, right? They're like, fine. You don't give us fans. We we work naked. I don't see what the problem is. 
Good for them. Although I would be concerned about pinching some things in places. Whacking yourself with the shovel accidentally? <laughs> Prosthetics, you think? Yeah, maybe. You wouldn't get with fans. It's too hot for clothes. So we're digging the old way. This is where our fathers mined. <laughs> we're still wearing the f***ing hats. <laughs> You're not as protected. No. You tell me that'll make a difference. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little <laughs> tiny bit. When this is over, will they be looked after? I don't know. You don't know. Like just the one guy wearing underwear, whereas stark naked. There was a guy wearing undies. There's one guy wearing undies. I was looking at every single that one bite. <laughs> How can you not? It's like boobies, right? I didn't even know it was the guy with the underwear. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I've been in locker room showers where you you, yeah. you don't look. <laughs> this is TV, not the locker room. I reported the increase to Akimo, and he pressed the button. Learn it, that's, that's not possible. And that's when it exploded. What, did he, what button did he push? I pressed it before the explosion. Before. What button did he push? Except push the big red button says do not push on it. Apparently. You let her in that room, inside the plastic, touching him. Did you know she's pregnant? It's not true. What have you done? What kind of a place is this? Where is her protection? People are going to hear. Do you understand? Everyone is going to hear. Uh-oh. What is everyone going to hear? I'm with the official Chernobyl Commission. What is everyone going to hear? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> I'll see you now. Did it go? I don't know, it was super depressing. In the immediate area surrounding Chernobyl, uh, every rock, every tree has absorbed a dangerous amount of radionuclides, which will be carried by the wind and the rain if left exposed. So we will have to raise entire forests. We will have to rip up the top layer of earth and bury it under itself, approximately 100 square kilometers. <laughs> My associate was was arrested last night. Oh? I mean no disrespect, but I was wondering if you could tell me why. I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> so you will be accountable for her? Then it's done. Her name? I know who she is. Good day, Professor. Oh, he's already been briefed on her. Like. <laughs> but didn't he just say he didn't? Uh, no, he never said that he didn't know her. Oh. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> Came off like a naive idiot. Naive idiots are not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the fuel will actually melt through the concrete pad? I don't know. 40% chance, maybe. I said 50. <laughs> By the way, the numbers mean the same thing, maybe. <laughs> 60% of the time, your numbers are wrong anyways. Mm. The problem has been assigned and you will stop at nothing until you find an answer. Because that is who you are. A lunatic, then. A scientist. Yeah, most scientists are kind of weird. I came off pressed AZ-5. And then the reactor exploded. They both agreed they were adamant. I'll go back to the hospital and re-interview Akimov and Tottenov. If they're still awake. Yeah. They're still alive. They're not. Oh. So do they think it was, like, somebody intentionally sabotaged? No. I think it was that one guy that was saying, that's not possible, who actually did something wrong, and he's not fessing up to it. I think that's the guy they're saying that pushed the button, and then it blew up. Hmm. Yeah, but if the button was to shut it down and the button caused the explosion, then... 
I don't know how nuclear reactors work, I guess. Me neither. What are these guys doing? They're being drafted to go help with the... Oh, the building the walls yeah. around it? And tearing the trees out and yeah. turning the dirt. Burying them in lead coffins? Yeah. Mass grave sort of situation, do you think? Yeah. I'm surprised they had enough lead coffins. A lot of concrete. Yeah. Brutal. Well, all right. The fire is out. They drained all the water, and the tunnel's going well. Mm-hmm. Right? So do you think we're going to find out what caused the explosion? God, I hope so. So we can prevent it from happening ever again. Right. Yeah. Knowledge that all nuclear plants need to know about yep. kind of thing. Yeah, what's going on in your head after that one? It's just this horrifyingly sad, terrifying story. Yeah. Yeah. Just the whole, like even, not just the local implications of it, but like the global yeah. implications it could have caused. And that one chief engineer or senior engineer is 25 years old. Yeah. So... They had a bunch of inexperienced, fresh out of school engineers probably working there. Yeah. Well, most something. of those guys were young in the first opening scene, except for like the, the head guy telling them what to do, right? Right. So, hmm. Of course, with new technology, it's kind of hard to not have young people doing it, right? I guess. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to visit Chernobyl? No. You know, it's, I think it's open to the public today. Yeah, I think you're right, and... God, that sounds like a horrible idea, right? <laughs> yeah. Being that the half-life is like 24,000 years or something, mm-hmm. or whatever he said earlier, right? I'm wondering just how much you're allowed to do in the town of Chernobyl. I think I'll keep my distance. Yeah. You don't want to go on vacation there? Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Oh, this makes me think of the three-eyed fish in The Simpsons, right? There's like three-eyed fish in the rivers around there now. Oh. Right? So you would you would stay by my side? Like the wife until... No. No? I, f- I had a baby? Absolutely not. Okay. It's more than just me I have to worry about. Well, if you weren't... If it was just me, I might risk cancer. Just to make sure I didn't die alone? Right. I mean, I'd probably stay behind the plastic sheet. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. What about you? Would you stay by your loved one's side? Or would you be like, eh, Whatever. Would you want me to stay by your side knowing that... I'd probably tell you to leave. Right? That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I'm not going to, like... <laughs> Get the hell away from go me. Go against your last wishes yeah. by <laughs> by saying, screw you. I'm, I'm not that say. selfish. I'd be like, yeah, just get it. leave me alone. Yeah. Please go. Yeah. Please go. Well, anything else people should comment on? Just like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for yep. another episode of Chernobyl. Yep. Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentaries, or access to polls that helps pick what we watch next. Links down below. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.